I'm outside the Hinton Library that was formerly a bank, and inside the library is a bank vault with a 20-inch wall that we need to make a hole through to essentially comply with the fire marshal's rules. Well, we've just determined by drilling a small hole through that the vault walls are 20 inches thick. From that it gave us a reference from the other side of exactly where our opening needs to be and we've outlined that in heavy magic marker here. And our first step in this project will be to start breaking concrete from the back side to establish a hole so we can get an airflow and then we can use our concrete chainsaw to cut a clean opening and then break out all the material inside the scored lines. Now I'm inside the library behind the vault on the other side of the door that we're going to cut through this wall. We had to cut through this brick wall as you can see here and the vault itself was cast about two feet in inside that 20 inch concrete. We're just lining this up here to know where to do our first micro blaster shots. We've got about seven inches down into this stuff from all these shots and we're starting to hit the rebar. You can see that in the center of the screen here. We're next going to take our saw and we're going to cut through this rebar, cut ourselves a block. We'll remove that block probably next and then we'll have an opening through which will let us start working on the other side of the vault and give us a hole for adequate ventilation to be working inside. I'm inside the vault now and you can see we've made our hole through in the middle of what's going to be our opening. We're going to do a couple of shots to take out the bottom of this hole. Luckily we found that our rebar is only seven inches in in our 20 inch wall here and we're luckily found out that there's not a second layer of rebar. So at this point I think the job's going to go a lot faster. We freed up uh, some of the rebar here. We'll cut this stuff off with our cutting torch and we'll just keep on moving down through the wall. Uh, we're about to score the other side. That'll give us a nice clean uh, exit from the vault itself. see here that we've opened our hole considerably using our concrete saw and chipping hammers. Also a cutting torch to cut off all the rebar which we found to be on four inch centers here. I don't know if you can see this in the video. In any case, we'll start doing some more shots at this point. Take out these remaining large pieces. We'll probably do another cut across the top here, scoring it. That'll save us from moving it any more material than we absolutely have to for our opening. And hopefully 
in another few hours we'll have most of this stuff out of here. Now we've cut between the two vertical cuts that we did on the sides of the door across the top. It's a small amount of concrete that's holding it and some of the rebars, but we actually managed to cut through some of them. And you can see from the bottom here what the pattern of the vertical rebars was. We're just about to cut them off and then we'll do our shot on the top. some of the chunks that we got. We had a pretty good crew cleaning up behind us. I think the microblaster saved us an awful lot of time on this job. Got a little bit more to chip out in this corner. But basically did pretty good. Combination of the gas chainsaw, chipping hammers, and the microblaster. <laughs>